If you're considering switching to another operating system and want to try it out first, using a virtual machine is an excellent option. In this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to install Kylie Linux on your virtual machine. This way, you can explore its features and functionalities without making any permanent changes to your current setup. Let's get started. You can download the virtual machine on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 without any problem. There are different kinds of virtual machines available, but today I'll be using VMware Workstation, which is absolutely free. Open your browser and let's search for VMware Download. Click on the first link from the result that says Download VMware Workstation Player. And once there, scroll down until you see Try Workstation 17 Player for Windows and click on the Download Now. It's about 540 megabyte, so it might take some time. Once the download is complete, open the setup file, run it and install it on your machine. Once installed, you'll see the VMware workstation dashboard. Now here on my end, you can see that I've already installed Windows 10 and Windows 11 for creating some of my videos. If you're using VMware for the first time, you need to click on create a new virtual machine it will then ask you to install a disk image. You'll need to download the Kylie Linux ISO file. So let's open your browser and let's type Kylie Linux download and just search for it. And click on the first link that says get Kylie. Look for the installer images and click on it. Scroll down and here you should see different editions like 64-bit, 32-bit or Apple Silicon ARM64. In this example, I'm going to select the 64-bit edition. Click on the download arrow icon and the download will start. It's about four gigabyte, so you'll have to wait until it's complete. Once the download is complete, click on the browse and let's locate the Kylie Linux ISO file we've just downloaded. Select it, then click on open. After that, click next. For the guest operating system, let's select Linux. And for the version, let's choose a Dybin 11 64-bit because Kylie support the Dybin version. Click next and here you can change the virtual machine name if you want. I'll name mine Kylie. If you want to change the location, you can do so. Make sure that the location you choose has enough space for the virtual machine. Then click next. It will ask you for the disk size. The minimum requirement is around 20 gigabyte, but I recommend going with at least 35 to 40 gigabyte, depending on how much space you have available on your C drive. I'll go with 40 gigabyte and click on next. Then click on customize hardware. Here you can change the memory allocation. By default, it will be set to two gigabyte, which is sufficient. But if you can allocate 4 GB, it will perform much better. For the processor, you can set it to around 3 cores. And you don't have to make any other changes. Click close, then click on finish. You will see a page that says play virtual machine. Click on it and you will be taken to a dashboard, graphical install and advanced options. Select graphical install and hit the enter key. Next, you'll be asked to select a language. So choose your desired language, then select continue. Select your location and click continue again. Configure the keyboard layout by selecting your preferred layout and click on continue again. Now the system will start detecting the hardware. So just wait a few seconds for the next screen. Next, you'll be asked to configure the network starting with the host name. I'll be using Kylie, but you can change it if you want. Click continue for the domain name. You can leave it blank or enter one if you are from an organization. Then click on continue. Now we need to set up the user and password. This is really important because you need them to log into your Kylie Linux machine. Enter the full name of the new user. I'm going to enter tech space wise, then click on continue. And here you need to enter a desired username and click on continue. 
and let's set up a password and retype it and then click on continue. You'll then configure the clock by selecting your time zone and clicking on continue. Next, you'll see the partition disk option, select guided use entire disk. This will use the total disk size you selected earlier, which was 40 gigabyte. If you want to create a partitions, you can choose the manual option, but I recommend starting with the guided use entire disk option. Then click on continue. Keep all files in one partition selected and click on continue. Keep finish partitioning and write changes to disk selected and click on continue. And here select yes for write changes to disk and click on continue. And now the installation of the base system will begin. So just wait for it to complete. Next, you will be asked to select all the softwares you want to include. Some softwares will be selected by default. Now, if you want to add Genome and KDE Plasma, you can select them here as well and click on continue. And the system will start installing all the selected software and this process will take some time. So just be patient. Next, you'll be asked to configure the display manager. You can choose any option, but I recommend keeping it to GDM3 and click on continue. Next, you'll be asked to install the Grub bootloader, which is really important to keep selected to yes, and click on continue. You will then have two options, enter device manually or select dev forward slash SDA. Just select dev forward slash SDA, then click on continue. The Grub bootloader should start installing now. And finally, it will say installation complete. Click on continue and the system will reboot. Once rebooted, select Kylie Linux. You will then be taken into the login page where you can find the username you created. Click on it and enter the password you set up during the configuration. And now it should log you into your Kylie Linux machine. Now you can see that we are inside the Kylie Linux machine on the desktop. From here, you can do whatever you want. The Kylie Linux navigation has been updated so you can enjoy the new features. To use the virtual machine in full screen mode, click on the full screen mode button, which is on the top left, and it will now run in full screen. Now feel free to browse the web, install and try out your applications and play with it as you like. That's all I wanted to show you in this video. If it was helpful, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Until next time, bye for now.